Hello friends out there in YouTube land. I'm Robert Ham, and I welcome you to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to Instax, but this will be an introduction from a photographer. And this is very important because there's a lot of things that as a photographer, I was very curious about. Although it will never replace my primary cameras, adding an Instax photo booth or adding an Instax wedding album is something that I can do to my business that will help improve it and Instax makes that possible. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hello friends, once again, I need your help. If you find this video helpful or any of my videos, please like and subscribe. It helps me build the channel and continue to bring you great content. Instax is actually film and it's not Polaroid. Polaroid is the name of a brand of camera. It also is the name of a brand that produced film, a type of film called instant film. Polaroid, the company, and the instant film was developed by a man, Dr. Land, who wanted to bring the joy of photography to us, you and I, immediately. So he developed what we consider instant film today. There were several different versions of instant film around, but most people are very familiar with the picture that's almost square taken from a Polaroid camera that produced an instant image. And so the name Polaroid became synonymous with instant film. However, the Polaroid company and Dr. Land developed many different types and formats of instant film, even ranging up into the wide and medium formats. Instax is a brand name of Fuji. It's a brand that they produce. So is Instax Polaroid? No. But in the sense that Instax is an instant print, and many people use Polaroid to describe an instant print, they do share some similarities there. Unfortunately, back in 2008, Polaroid stopped making their film, specifically for the 600 series Polaroid cameras. And that's a shame, because it was some really magical stuff. However, a company called The Impossible Project did pick up the flag and has been carrying it forward. They purchased all of Polaroid's equipment for making instant film and began producing film. They've been doing so and servicing film for the camera needs of Polaroid 600 shooters and other shooters of the like ever since 2008, and we're happy to have them. Interesting fact, Fujifilm has been making instant film under the Instax brand since 1998. Many years of experience making film and over two decades of experience making instant film has brought Fuji to a point today where Instax film is now almost as synonymous as Polaroid was to instant film. Instax film works because of chemistry. Yes, that's right, high school chemistry. Instax uses a positive slide emulsion and has a particular compound of developer placed within the film packet. The film packet itself is a multi-layer emulsion, and that's pretty cool. And in that emulsion, in the white areas that are kind of puffy, is where you'll find the developer. And what happens is, when you take the picture, the positive is exposed, and then the film, the little sheet itself, is ejected from the camera, and it goes through a pair of rollers. Those rollers squeeze the little puffy white parts where the developer is captured, and that breaks the seals, keeping it from hitting the the positive exposure. And as it rolls through, just like a rolling pin on dough, it flattens it out, flattens out the emulsion, it flattens out the developer, and spreads it through the entire image. That way, once the print comes out, it begins to immediately develop, and within about five minutes, you have a fully developed image. It's pretty exciting, really. Instax is real film. So it doesn't easily equate to digital photography. Real film is measured in lines of resolution per millimeter, of which the Instax print produces 12 lines of resolution per millimeter, which is pretty good. Continuing on with that, we realize that Instax is real film, and as such, it's an analog, a physical medium with no digital interpolation. That means that once you press the shutter button, the Instax film is exposed, and an image will be produced. There are no backups, there are no saves, there are no do-overs. 
It's one and done. That's one of the parts that make Instax film so exciting. Yes, Instax is real film. It's a daylight balance 5500K film rated at ISO 800. And it uses a very special type of film technology. In fact, Instax film, much like slide film, is a positive film, not a negative. And that's why the images can develop in front of us and they look correct with color, exposure, and most importantly, the right ways up. More importantly, Instax film is a direct positive Sigma emulsion film developed specifically by Fujifilm. And there are some technologies in here that this provides. Number one is a very, very soft noise curve so that your images are smooth and have beautiful gradations and tones. Another thing that it provides for us, this technology, is that the film has a nice saturation curve. This means it's going to be easy to render beautiful blues, reds, and greens outside, specifically in daylight for which this film is intended to be used. However, the film is a little bit contrasty, so you gotta watch the contrast ratio. And I think that the film, at least in my experience, has about 10 stops of dynamic range, but more on that later. So there you have it. Lots of great film, lots of exciting stuff that is happening right now in the world of instant photography. I'm excited about Fujifilm. I'm excited about instant photography, and I'm excited to be on the cutting edge of this. And you can too. Go check out an instant camera today that uses the Instax. You won't be disappointed. I'm Robert Ham with RobertHamPhotography.com. You can catch me on Instagram and Twitter at RobHamPhoto. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, Keep shooting, my friends.